Hi, so today we're going to be talking about chapter 15, current electricity. Let's do a short recap. How do we turn a light bulb on? Now over here is a very simple circuit with a battery, a light bulb and a wire. So the current basically flows from one side of the battery through the light bulb and, and then through the wire and comes to the other end of the battery. The electric current must flow from the battery, go through the light bulb and go back to the battery the current must flow through a loop. So let's take a look. Current flows up through the light bulb and then to the other side of the battery. This will be called conventional current. In a conventional current, current flows around the loop from the positive side of the battery to the negative side of the battery. So over here, we can actually draw out a circuit in a diagram form. So the battery will be drawn as um, one long line and one short line the long line is annotated by a plus sign and the short line is annotated by the negative sign. That is joined to the light bulb over here, which is a circle and a cross. And then the wires connect them all to the back. So the conventional current flows this way from the big line, the plus sign, current will flow up through the light bulb and back. And it ends off at the negative side of the battery. Now let's compare this to electron current. Many, many years thinking that the conventional current was the way that current proceeded through a circuit. However, now we know it to be false. And now we know that electrons actually flow through the current in actually the opposite way. And this will be called the electron current. In an electron current, electrons flow around a loop from the negative side and they go back to the positive side. Let's take a look. Actually, this is what really happens. The electrons are gathered at the negative side of the battery and they flow up. Going up through this way, through the light bulb and back to the positive side. Similarly, in the diagram, electrons start from the negative side of the battery. They flow one round through the light bulb and back to the positive side. The electron current is the true state of things. However, it's important to note that we still use conventional current for most calculations. Based on the syllabus given by the O-level examination, all problems for electricity, we should use the conventional current concept. For example, the current flows from the positive terminal to the negative terminal.